Hello everyone, this is Aegis, and here's Game 5 between UIUC and uh, CSU Sacramento. Game 5 is the ace match, we've come down to the last match to decide this match, it is this, uh, yes, these, this match. And we do have uh, Pipplop PKM spawning as the yellow Protoss player and his opponent Dave Asian uh, spawning as the orange Zerg player and we are on the map uh, Shakuras Plateau. This uh, map has a narrow choke that guards your natural expansion. Uh, it, it's a rather large map that Zergs do like because of um, their ability to expand more than, suppose, uh, Steps of War. Uh, Pipple PKM is looking to even this out. He is moving out with his 10th probe, maybe going for some sort of uh, cheese. Never mind. There's his uh, pylon. I just missed it. I thought something strange was going on. Uh, that that would be quite uncharacteristic to move out with this probe and try to uh, do something after building the tenth probe. So we do have uh, Dave Asian moving his Overlord here. Does want to check out where his opponent is. It also does look like he is going for a. Uh, well, I can't really tell because he's uh, still getting drones here. Maybe he is going for a fifteen pool, sixteen pool. Uh, I'm not too sure. 15 hatch. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do real soon. We do have uh, Pipwop getting his uh, gateway up as well as his assimilator. He's chrono boosting out those probes as much as he possibly can. And we do have the hatch going down at 16 food. And that probe is uh, being chased by a, a drone, or the drone was being chased by the probe. And the probe is going to start zapping away here. We do have these pylons here being placed. To, uh, for uh, tech placement so you can't scout everything all at once. Piplup is uh, continuing to make those probes always good. In that last game we did see that um, both players cut probe production quite early. I didn't really understand uh, the idea behind um, the big Limskis doing that, but um, it's his build. We'll, we'll see if uh, Piplup PKM can make up for that loss in this game, and if Dave Asian can help UIUC pull off the reverse all kill. He does have his spawning pool coming up here, and uh, is uh, going to start collecting gas real soon. There we go. Perhaps going to get some uh, speedlings out here. This drone making sure no pylons go down and no cannons are coming up. So we do have Piplup getting a cybernetics core his second and his second gateway. He does have this probe select in here, not sure what he's about to do. Throwing down a third gateway. That is quite a quite an interesting build. Um, maybe he's going for some pretty quick uh, warp gate action here. He's uh, continuing to zap away at this hatchery, bringing it down uh, 300 HP now. And we do have these uh, spine crawlers coming up. The evasion does want to be able to defend against a 4 warp gate. Um, I don't know if he has uh, seen these structures yet. Nope, he has uh, not seen much in his base. Uh, gonna continue zapping away at these spine crawlers. Gonna soften them up just a little bit. Dave Asian pulling out some harvesters from his gas here. Uh, gonna see what he does with his first 100 gas. He does have that first spine crawler now complete. Gonna be able to defend his base. Uh, Piplup going for a, a fourth warp gate. So we are seeing a four warp gate coming out of a Piplup, but he is collecting gas in this game. He has stopped probe production as well. If we look at the units tab, he's stopped at 21 probes and is now just chrono boosting his warp gate research. Quite a refined build here, uh, me keeping his energy low, uh, continuing to collect gas, maybe going for some sentries here. Uh, Dave Asian moving his spine crawlers to the front, gonna produce a queen at his natural as well. His queen at the main is still not yet up, but uh, he is still quite able to spend his money. We do see Zerglings uh, moving across the map here, gonna be able to scout out these uh, units moving out from a Piplup space here. We do have the warp gates complete, so 4 warp gate is will be commencing real soon. Uh, we do have a drone over here as well, and uh, these Zerglings are still scouting around here. Uh, we do have uh, the uh, Stalkers here cleaning up that Overlord. Overlord not quite able to see what was inside of uh, uh, Piplup's base. Take a look, he saw two warp gates, but not quite anything else. These Zerglings are seeing the push here, so we do see that uh, uh, speed is coming up, as well as the lair at his natural. He definitely wants to get that up. 
get his natural with some more health. We do have additional spine crawlers coming up. Does want to be able to hold against this. 10 Zerglings on the way, as well as the speed upgrade. This queen is at the natural, saving some energy for that next larva vomit. A huge stalker force is out now for Piplop. He's going to move over here and see if he can pick off this drone. That drone will be going down. Additional units just streaming across the map. A proxy pylon being warped in. The 10 Zerglings are now spawning. Uh, additional Zerglings coming out. Some of the Zerglings spawned earlier. And these uh, spine crawlers are now completed. And this queen is also moving to the front. Going to be able to prepare for this defense. Additional pylons being warped in here. Piplup does want to end this game as soon as possible. These Zerglings are going to move out here and see uh, what is going on. Uh, yes, they do see that proxy pylon. So he knows exactly what is going on. These spine crawlers are uprooting themselves. If Piplup pushes right now, he might be able to just break in here because there's not much up there. Here comes the push. Those spine crawlers are almost done burrowing. They're just digging. There we go. Both spine crawlers now uh, burrowed. Going to start poking away. There's Zerglings uh, surrounding in the back. Great force field. They're going to keep some of those Zerglings out. Additional warp ins here. Zalot's coming to reinforce the backside. Divasion is looking like he's in a lot of trouble here. 26 Zerglings on the way. These two spine crawlers doing their best to hold it off. Drones being pulled off the line because of the Zalots. The, uh, Zerglings spawning here. Going to start ripping at those Zalots. Additional uh, units spawning here for our Protoss player as well. He's looking quite low on the money. Gonna surround that last Zealot and clean it up. The Stalker's backing up a little bit. The drone's being pulled off the line, fighting those Zealots. Additional Zerglings now coming out for Dave Asian. Pipple doesn't look like he has much of a response here. He just has these four Stalkers here. Uh, now two gonna be taken out here. Additional Zealots being spawned up front. Does look like the 4 Warp Gate has failed. Davasian is going to move his units back to mining. He even has his second queen up at the front. More Zerglings spawning here. So Piplup's 4 Warp Gate has been held off. Uh, even this proxy pylon is going to get taken down. Speed is also complete. Going to be able to um, chase down those Zalots and break their necks in half. We do have uh, these Creep Tumors now spawning. Dave Asian getting back to the macro here. Going to uh, maybe get some uh, Lair Tech out here. We do have a Spine Crawler in the main that he can move to his natural to be able to prevent additional 4 Warp Gating here. Sentry spawning does want to be able to hold off this attack. The Zealots working away on those Zealots. Does want to keep that Sentry alive, but was not able to. Piplup moving his Zealots back to his natural. He's going to be looking to expand soon because Zerg has been able to hold his expansion. At the 11 mar minute mark, Protoss does want to think about getting that expansion as soon as possible. A Roach Warren is also up for Dave Asian. And the creep is now starting to uh, start, uh, creep across the map. The evasion with the full map control. He does see these units over here. He can uh, react with that Zergling. Uh, not quite be able to react with that. So, uh, he, But he does know about this force moving across the map. The Zergling is also going to get taken out. Uh, Piplup looks like he's continuing the 4 warp gate. He's going to keep making those Zalots and keep smashing into uh, Davasian's uh, natural here. And we do have the Hydralis Den completing, as well as additional Creep Tumors moving across the map. He does see the push, so he's going to get those 12 Zerglings, 5 Roaches on the way. Davasian still keeping this one Spine Crawler in his main, um, perhaps for uh, some defensive purpose uh, that I do not yet know about. So he does have all of his overlords parked over here. Interesting placement. He could spread those out to get some nice uh, map control. Piplup just warping on purely sentries and zealots here does want to try to end the game. He is going to be so far behind if he loses this push once again. Gonna take out a creep tumor there. The creep trying to spread uh, to all corners of the map. So we do have the roaches and uh, zerglings ready to defend against this attack. Sentries with pretty good energy here, actually. Gonna force seal off that ramp, keep two zerglings out. Uh, zerglings gonna move across the map to see what is going on. Uh, Piplup still. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. There's a transition. Gonna start getting that Nexus up, uh, putting the pressure on, forcing Zerg to make uh, this many units and not get enough saturation at his natural expansion. But we do see drones transferring over here from the main. Gonna be able to continue to mine. Um, Davasian doing quite well in income, I believe. Yes, Davasian is just a little bit ahead, and Piplup is being forced to move back and get his natural expansion. 
If we look at the units lost tab, Piplup has lost uh, tons of mi uh, minerals and gas worth of units in comparison to what Dave Asian has lost. And Dave Asian has had this expansion for this much longer. He can actually go out there and pick off this pylon again, forcing Piplup to get additional pylons and not make units or probes, in, for the matter of fact. So we'll go back to the production and see that the Gleal Reconstitution as well as Burrow upgrades are on the way. So those roaches will be able to uh, recover all that much faster during a, a uh, battle. And the Burrow will also force Protoss to get out those observers before being able to move out. Pip am going to get up some cannons here, trying to hold down his uh, natural expansion. The Zerglings now picking off that pylon, and Pip Love is a was supply blocks for just a moment. He's getting additional cannons here. Zergling spotting up the ramp and seeing all of the uh, zealots. Gonna move back there. Just wanting to see if the expansion was uh, up. So we'll take a look at his vision. Yes, he does see the expansion. And we do have now uh, immortals coming out of this robotics facility. I don't see if he that he has any observers so he's getting that immortal first knowing that uh dave asian does is going roaches and also grabbing his third expansion uh, at a pretty normal time actually piplup is con starting to mine at his natural expansion no gas there yet he's starting to get his uh, forge gonna maybe get some upgrades real soon perhaps get some additional unit production production uh, facility soon nine roaches popping out for dave asian um and he is moving his units over here does want to break down the back rocks so we'll see if that works he's also getting a hatchery down on the low ground gonna continue spreading that creep here uh, the creep now reaching all, all the way across the map this creep tumor just spawning here the roaches working down on those rocks the production from Davasian is going to be quite strong here now. He is also getting his Spire up. Evolution Chambers on the way. Definitely gearing up for the long term of this game. Uh, Piplup getting plenty of sentries to be able to hold his front. But little does he know these roaches are now breaking through the back rocks here. Uh, so we'll see if these roaches are able to just run into the main and do tons of damage. Davasian is already looking quite a ways ahead. We'll see if Piplup is able to hold this down as the yellow protoss. He does see the roaches here uh, breaking those rocks down. He's moving his stalkers back. Going to be able to start working on those roaches. But um, it's not quite able to stop those uh, roaches from moving up the ramp. Force field's going down. Going to prevent those roaches from moving up. But the burrow is allowing the roaches to move into the main. But they're going to back out here. We'll see what Piplup decides to do. He's probably going to have to chrono boost out a observer. The roaches now retreating. Um, it did open up this attack path for Protoss as well, so this could be a risky move um, if he does decide to take this expansion relatively soon. We do have Hydralisks also now out on the field, uh, or on the way, I mean. Um, additional Overlord spawning here. We do have 150 supply for Davasian and a hundred, a measly 108 for Piplup. He has this entire army parked over here. If we take a look at his vision, he sees nothing on this map. All he has is this one observer. He has no map control. So we also have uh, Davasian spotting for uh, Piplup's third expansion. Additional cannons coming up. I guess he does know about the uh, possibility of uh, Zerglings. We do have uh, Davasian working on the back rocks on this side as well. Perhaps trying to put a smiley face, a nose on the smiley face in the north expansion. Uh, Davasian is now getting uh, tons of Hydralisks out. Uh, and we do have Protoss working on his ground weapons level 1. Zerg is working on the missile attacks level 1 as well as the ground carapace. Gonna make those uh, roaches all that more more stronger with the armor. And we do have... Uh, I hear I hear some roaches spitting here. Yeah, uh... Pretty ballsy move out with these stalkers here. Could get surrounded by those zerglings, but there's not quite enough of them out on the field. A sentry moving out to greet them. Perhaps uh, throw some force fields down to prevent a bust in on the main. Pipple moving his forces back and forth. Always good to post poke around with your fast units and uh, keep all your slow units back at home to defend. And we see Dave Asian getting his hatchery down, his fourth base up. His production is so strong at 160 food now. Corruptors also coming out on the field in anticipation of those Colossi. Um, I don't know if Colossi are out on the field. Nope, Robotics Bay is still here. Uh, the Colossus Den is still on the way, so uh, Piplup looking mighty saturated at his natural. Completely mined out in the main, except for the gas. He might 
it might even serve him well to get out some Templar, which spend mostly gas for this matchup here. He does have an Observer. Uh, Davasian is taking his fourth base, also getting his fifth base up. Is a huge army here. He could actually try to go for a bust and try to trade armies with the Protoss player. Um, it's looking quite grim for the Protoss player. He's trying to expand his third base now. He's transferring some probes over there, now getting his first Colossus out, as well as the extended Thermal Lance to make them all that more potent against this mix of units. But there are Eruptors all around the field now. Perhaps even make some Broodlords later, seeing that there are not that many Colossus out on the field. A push could be happening soon. Zalts and a, uh, Stalkers making a push out there. He might want to move the Zalts to the front of that. And we do have the push coming up on Piplop's third base here. Going to be able to completely annihilate the small force here. Piplop is going to be forced to defend his third base. Starting to move over here. The evasion banking 2,000 minerals gonna keep moving over here. The probes being pulled off the line gonna retreat here, uh, and uh, Piplov's army is uh, force fielding the evasion inside this base, but he is gonna finish uh, killing off these two assimilators here, and we do have the drones uh, long distance mining here. Uh, no drones mining ju here just yet, but we should see see that real soon. Uh, Piplop is completely cooped up, uh, essentially he's lost the game already, but he's going to continue hanging on here and see if what he can do against this uh, Zerg player, Dave Asian. All the Corruptors on the field going to deny these Colossus real hard. We'll see if the Greater Spire is on the way, we don't quite have that on the way, uh, not quite having a Hive just yet, um, but Piplop is going to try taking this expansion here, putting a smiley face on uh, both expansions here, so we do have a um, very happy game here, extending to the 23rd minute now. Uh, it does seem like Protoss is reacting to the Zerg army's movement, seeing with his observer that uh, they might be moving to this location here. A warp prism out on the field, and we do see the psionic storm researching. So it is good for him to have those High Templar, going to be able to spend that gas finally and is actually quite good against those Hydralisks. And this army is a vast majority of Hydralisks. Uh, not quite being able to one-shot that pylon there. So these Templars are chilling out here, gonna get a ton of energy up and try to, while waiting for that uh, Psionic Storm research to complete. Uh, he needs the Chrono Boost and he has plenty of Chrono Boost available. Protoss is just waiting for the inevitable attack. He's warping in those High Templar there, might be able to actually take out the army if he uh, places those storms perfectly, and those uh, Corruptors will be completely useless. So we now do have the Hive on the way, now just uh, finishing up as well as Overseers, and uh, Zerg melee attacks level 1 also going down. So if we take a look here, he's getting that layer up so that he can continue to get those upgrades. We do have a Changeling in the army as well. Uh, where did all of those probes go? He needs to make more probes to be able to mine this a little bit more efficiently. That pro uh, oh, okay, going out there just to shoot that uh, changeling there. Good uh, uh, see sight there, knowing that it was a changeling. Oh, okay, all the probes are transferred over to this uh, juicy new expansion, but this overseer does see it. A cannon coming up here. Zerg is moving back, maybe looking to take that out. Neural Parasite is also on the way for those investors. A huge stockpile of larva. If he trains his army, he can instantaneously do that. 200 uh, food push. He does have this queen here uh, with plenty of energy. Uh, I think uh, we've even reached the larva limit. Once those larva pop off, it doesn't even matter. They just replace some larva that are already there. Piplop continuing to mine at this expansion. He's uh, finally getting some sort of economy, but it does look like Dave Asian is going to end the happy mining days of these probes and to kill off this expansion. The entire Protoss army is now moving over here. Storm is also complete. These High Templar and huge amounts of energy can actually storm this army quite effectively. Storm's going down on the Hydralists and the Roaches, also doing some damage to the, um, to the Corruptors. Uh, we should see additional storms there. Uh, storms going down on the Hydralis. Roach is going to take out a good portion of the Asian's army, actually. Dropping the food count by uh, nearly 50 food. Uh, we should be seeing additional storms here real soon. 
Storm's gonna be great against those Hydralisks. Hydralisks are actually quite a squishy unit. Let me select one. And we do see that it only has 80 health. And I believe a Psionic Storm does do 75 damage. Oh, actually 80 damage. So it is an instantaneous kill on those Hydralisks if they stay within the Storm. So, uh... Davasian is continuing to make units here. We also have the ground carapace level 3 mi missile attacks level 3 coming up. Going to make those uh, hydralisks so strong. Oversaturated a single mineral patch there. Davasian going to continue mining here and here as well. His economy is just a booming. We'll see what kind of tech he decides to get out here. He does have the greater spire. Um, not quite seeing those broodlords here yet. We should see broodlords on the field real soon. Uh, but he is max, so he can't actually quite make those. Uh, this observer getting a good look here. We should be seeing storms to hold this off real soon. Protoss is actually qu playing quite surprisingly well, holding off the Zerg and just taking expansion after expansion. Maybe if he can expand up here, he he will be able to uh, continue playing in this game. Additional stalkers warping in here, gonna be able to deal with those uh, roaches better. Uh, so we should see storms going down real soon. Uh, not quite be able to see this army here. Those Hydralisks also walking forward. Should throw those uh, uh, storms down. You should storm it right now. Storms. Piplup storms. There we go. Storms going down on the roaches. But the roaches have a huge regeneration capacity. He has no observers here. This might actually end his ability to play here. More storms going down. GG calls Piplup. Ending this game right before the 30 minute mark. Davasian's macro was just amazing banking 8,000 minerals mining out to uh two expansions three expansions almost having huge larva counts gonna be, be able to do those 300 food pushes if piplup was able to hold this off piplup also playing to the uh, end here uh, not quite having the observer to deal with these roaches these roaches are actually at quite low health um, don't know what the outcome might have been if he did have an observer, but this does end the game in favor of UIUC. UIUC completing the reverse all kill against CSU Sacramento. And this is Aegis signing off.